Oklahoma for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Very excited to be joined on stage, not only by the beautiful knockouts behind me, but our two fierce competitors who have waited a long time for this bout. Please welcome Joe Smith Jr., Maxim Vlasov to the stage. This bout was scheduled originally for February 13th uh, in Vegas, inside the bubble. But at the weigh-in, Maxim tested positive for COVID. We are, sorry, we are still following COVID protocols and procedures here in Oklahoma. But so far, so good. And we are looking forward to this light heavyweight championship bout Saturday, April 10th. It'll be live on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, the co-feature, fantastic F.A. Ajaba and Brian Howard, 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Our undercards will be live and exclusive on ESPN Plus beginning at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 2.30 Pacific. That's 4.30 here in Tulsa. That's a lot of times, but just remember 5.30 Eastern on ESPN Plus. The undercards are going to feature undefeated heavyweights Jared the Real Big Baby Anderson, Sonny Conto, junior lightweight contender Albert Bell, featherweight prospect Duke Reagan, and some Tulsa fan favorites Trey Lippy Morrison and Jeremiah Milton. I want to get right into it because we've been waiting for this one for a long time. I know both of you have. Uh, Natalia is with us as well. She will be translating for Maxim. But Joe, I want, I want to start with you uh, because this is a big one for you. It's a big one for him. The fight was postponed. You decided to get married. Now you postpone the honeymoon. How exciting is it for you to be here in Tulsa, ready to get it on on Saturday night? Uh, it's very exciting being here. <clears throat> it's uh, been a long time, you know, long wait. You know, I had to go through some tough uh, obstacles to get here, and um, I'm just excited to get in there Saturday night and put my hands up. <laughs> Congratulations on the wedding. You know, obviously that's a big step in, in life for anybody. I'm married. I, I've been there, done that. How's the wife now? I can say wife hanging in there through all of this. Um, she's been great. She's uh, been patient, and uh, she's um, just waiting for me to put on a great show for everybody so we can go have uh, a good time together. That'll, that'll be a fun honeymoon. That'll be a fun honeymoon yeah. forever. Uh, Natalia, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Per yes, I, I can hear you. Welcome, welcome to the press conference. Maxim, uh, it had to have been disappointing for you, obviously, testing positive right before the fight. Uh, how has this layoff affected you? Are we going to see any ring rust? Because it's been 16 <laughs> months since you've been in the ring. Практически уверен, что никакого ржавения вы не увидите, потому что, ну, у меня огромный опыт, и к тому же все это время я тренировался, всегда был готов и оттачивал свои навыки, поэтому все будет, наверное, даже лучше, чем в прошлых боях. Здесь за предельной мотивацией я готов на все 200%. I look down at my card and I see 45 and 3 with 26 knockouts. That is an exceptional record. That's a lot of fighting. How does it feel to finally have your first shot at a title? Я чувствую себя так же, как и, наверное, молодой и менее опытный боец. Я взволнован. Естественно, для меня это очень большая возможность и большая ответственность. Поэтому я, ну, в таких, я, я возбужден и мотивирован очень на этот бой. Uh, 
very much for the stability that I'm taking the risk and I'm very excited and I'm greatly motivated for the fight. Very good. I'm going to come back over here to you, Joe. And, in, you know, similar vein, you know, uh, two days before the fight, back in February, positive test puts things on hold. That's got to play with uh, your psyche a little bit, the mental preparation that goes into a fight. Here we are again. How are we feeling this time around? And again, same question. Any ring rust, any jitters, you know, anything that we need to be concerned about coming into Saturday night? Um, no, you know, it was a little disappointing that day finding out I wasn't going to be fighting, yeah. you know, because I, I felt that I was 100% and ready then. But, um, you know, I enjoyed my wedding for the night. And then that week I got back to the gym and I've, you know, been working just as hard, you know, every day putting in all the work I need to. And I feel 100% and ready to go. Yeah, I, my next question here is, was about the training and, you know, somewhat being disappointed, like you mentioned. And, but, you know, hey, distractions with a wedding are a good thing. How was it walking back into the gym, starting training again, knowing that, hey, we're going to do this again. We're going to Oklahoma and we, we got to um, get going. Well, it really wasn't starting again, you know. I was, I just, I just continued it, and um, you know, it was great. You know, I got, I got in lots of, lots of sparring, lots of running, lots of everything. So, I'm in uh, the best shape of my life, I believe, and uh, ready to go. That's fantastic. This, uh, I mentioned, this is Maxim's first shot at a title. This is your second chance now at a title. You've been there before. Mm -hmm. You came up a little short last time. Uh, we know how disappointed you were. What's different this yeah. time? You know, I, after my uh, loss to Bivol, I went back to the gym and started working on things that uh, I picked up in the fight that I was, um, you know, getting caught for or, you know, not landing enough punches because I wasn't busy enough. So, you know, I got back into the gym. I worked on those things, and I feel like it's all coming together now, and I'm an all-around, you know, fighter. Fantastic. Uh, Natalia, I want to ask Maxim, uh, he's been a professional. You've been a professional now for 16 years. Uh, what would it mean to you to finally uh, have, a, ha have me announce on Saturday night and new? What would that mean to you, to hear those words? Ну, я думаю, что это как бы венец, так скажем, моей карьеры. Это вот та точка, до которой я всегда мечтал дойти. Конечно, она не конечная, но это, наверное, одна из тех целей, к которой я стремился, и я буду, естественно, счастлив. Просто, просто находиться э, в ринге и в таком, участвовать в таком бою. Have you had an opportunity to scout your opponent? And if so, what are some of the things that he does really well? And what are some things that you think you can exploit in the ring on Saturday night? Естественно, как и любой, любой боксер высокого уровня, и в боях такого уровня, каждый готовится и просматривает бои. Естественно, я просмотрел несколько боев, и, но давайте, наверное, не будем говорить о слабых, сильных сторонах и не будем раскрывать то есть, свои планы на этот бой. Copy that. Respected. Appreciated. Thank you. 
Joe, same thing. You know, you know. Go ahead. Copy. Thank you. Um, same thing for you, Joe. You know what you're walking into. Uh, anything that you see over there that you're going to have to avoid? Or are there things there that you think you can exploit? Um, basically, I know he's just a busy, aggressive guy. He's got a lot of experience. So, you know, I just prepared well, and I'm going to get out there and give it 100%. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked him because I think it's, uh, it's, it's why we do it, right? When you hear and new, what will that mean to you? You know, it's going to be a great feeling, and I know it's going to bring lots of opportunities to me, and, you know, it's just going to be amazing. It's everything I've been working for since I was 13, so looking forward to it. Well, that's all I got for this afternoon, you guys. I want to thank you both for your time. If I could, I'm going to have you both leave your microphones on your chairs and go down front here for a picture. Uh, Mikey is going to grab a couple shots. But just, uh, it's our first face-off. I know you got a busy schedule the rest of the afternoon. Joe Smith, Maxim Vlasov for the vacant WBO light heavyweight world title. Coming to you live from Osage Casino Hotel here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This main event will be live on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus. 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. That's 9 o'clock here in Tulsa. Saturday, April 10th. As always, on behalf of Mr. Bob Arum, the best in the business. This is boxing. This is Top Rank. My name is Mark Chinook. This is Joe Smith. Joe Smith Jr., Maxim Vlasov, for the vacant WBO light heavyweight world title. Coming to you live from the Osage Casino Hotel in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-ins, and it all goes down Saturday night. Have a great day, everybody.